hear your sweet voice. But now today I am satisfied. <laughs> you should try to Learn. copy hmm? like her in so trembling tune, <laughs> ascending and descending. <laughs> so my heartly blessings to you. You should live long and serve me by these songs to Radha Krishna Kanjuga. <laughs> Who should be called Sadhak? No? Who should be called? Who is to whom we can call that he is Sadhak? Oh, Prem Prayajan. You should speak something about this. You should know that really who is sadha and how we should try to do practice that is sadha. What is sadha and when a sadha will be really sadha? practitioner of bhakti yoga. You should speak. And try to develop. I have come only to be this thing. From Rupa Goswami, from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from my disciple, parampara. I have not come for any other purpose. Not for money, not for reputation, not for collecting so many disciples. I have collected so many friends one day. <coughs> I have come to only help you. And if you are helped and in, have inspiration in bhakti, then I will think that thing that my preaching is successful. Among you have only two or three. If you are sincere, and following my all teachings, then I will think my coming to Australia is successful. I don't want that you should tell that I am disciple of Narayan Maharaj or not practicing anything. Then I will be like other others who want money, not bona fide guru, they want money. But I don't want. But anyhow, I am so happy to come to this place. And it remembered me where in New Braja. New Braja. And all were inspired there. So Nirgun Prabhu, I remember Nirgun Prabhu there helping so many devotees. He are also I remembering always. Rajaballa Prabhu and his family. So I am indebted to Rajaballa Prabhu and his families and all devotees, but especially to them. So you should try to be more stronger and stronger. And you should, time to time, you can write me letters. So you should know what is sadhan, what is sadha. What is bhakti practice, yoga, bhakti yoga, and what is practitioner?
Shinrupa Goswami Bhatt, in his Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, he has explained what is Shuddha Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti, Anyabhilashita Shunyam, Jnana Kama Dhinabritam, Anukugenu Krishnanu Shivanam Bhakti Uttama. That when a person engages all of the endeavors of his body, mind and words <coughs> continuously in the activities of bhakti, in the angas, the limbs of devotional service, under the guidance of bona fide guru and Vaishnavas. And he cultivates those activities which are favorable to Krishna. And that devotional service is not covered in any way by the desire for fruitive activities, the desire for the fruit of his actions, not covered in any way by uh, jnan, which is a po knowledge which is opposed to the principles of bhakti. And when in his heart he has no other desire but the desire to serve Krishna, then that is called uttama bhakti. Then Sri Rupa Goswami Pad, he further explains that this uttama bhakti, it has three stages, sadhana bhakti, bhava bhakti, and prema bhakti. The first stage is called sadhana bhakti, which means devotional service in practice. The second stage is called bhava bhakti, devotional service in uh, ecstatic emotion. And then prema bhakti, devotional service in pure love. So, if we want to attain the devotional service in pure love, we will have to go through the stages. Sadhana Bhakti, to Bhava Bhakti, and Prema Bhakti. So, what is Sadhana Bhakti? It may be commonly conceived that if I am chanting Hare Krishna, if I go to Mangalarti, if I do Kirtan, if I read Chimad Bhagavatam, then I am doing Sadhana Bhakti. Hmm? And I am a Sadhak. Hmm? But Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has explained, no, what is the true conception of sadhana bhakti? He said, Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava sa sadhana vidha nitya siddhasya bhava sa prakatyam riti sadhya tha. What is real sadhana bhakti? Real sadhana bhakti means when one is engaged completely in the angas, the limbs of devotional service with a particular intention. What is that intention? To become accomplished in Bhava Bhakti. That means Nitya Siddhasya Bhavasya Prakatyam Ridhisadhita. Prakatyam Ridhisadhita. Within the heart there is a potential relation eternal loving relationship with Shishi Radha Krishna Yuga. That relationship is there. Eternally established, nitya siddhasya bhav. It's an eternally established mood within the heart. Mm -hmm. And those activities which are undertaken, whereby prakatyam riti sadhita, that, that mood will become fully manifest. Those activities are called sadhan bhakti. So, in order to undertake sadhan bhakti, then first we have to know what is the sadhya. Because two words are there. Sadhan and sadhya. Sadhya means the goal, the aim and objective. And sadhana means what we do to achieve that goal. So, unless the sadhya is specifically defined, unless we know exactly what is my goal, then we cannot take up the appropriate means to attain that goal. So, Srila Gurudev and other Vaishnavas uh, during this festival, have spoken about the goal, the aim and objective of the devotees who have come to the line of Srila Rupa Goswami part. What is that objective? To attain the service of the lotus feet of Shri Shri Radha Krishna Yuga with the inclination towards Shri Mati Radhika. This is called Manji Bhav. Tatat Bhava Ichamani. So, understanding the sadhak is a person who understands completely what is his goal? And then his hearing and chanting is completely uh, performed for the achievement of that goal. 
the goal of the Rupanuga Vaishnavas is not attained by Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti will have to be practiced in the beginning. But as Krishna has said, that Sakali Dagati Mori Kore Vidhi Bhakti. Vidhi Bhakti Brata Bhav Paiti Nahi Shakti. Everyone in the world is following the path of Vaidhi Bhakti. But this Vaidhi Bhakti is not, does not have the Shakti, the power, to awaken the Braj Bhav, the mood of Vrindavan. So, if one wants to follow in the footsteps of Rupa Goswami, we will have to practice Vaidhi Bhakti, following all rules and regulations. But by following the rules and regulations, in the association of those Shuddha Vaishnavas, who have greed, and who are accomplished and expert in bhajan, then by their mercy and association, gradually some greed, hearing from them some greed will come into our hearts. And then one will practice Vaidhi Bhakti, but the mood will be different. Just like two men are walking to the house of another man. So one man, he's the friend, and he's going there, he has a gift to give to him. And the other man, he is a thief and he's going there to steal. So both are walking, both are performing the same activities, but their internal moods are different. So in the same way, it is not to say that those performing Vaidhi Bhakti are like thieves, this is not the point. But the point to say is that the practitioner of the Ravanuga Bhakti, he will follow all the aspects of Vaidhi Bhakti, but internally his mood will be what? Following in the moods of Srila Rupa Goswami part. Hmm? Just like Srila Rupa Goswami has written many beautiful prayers. Much yes, sir. Uh, anything more? What he has left about sadhan and sad sadhak? Can you? And if not, then you should see. I can't add anything. Then, Govinda Bhagat. Stand up and tell. <coughs> Anything he has left? You, can you? He's done everything. <laughs> Very. He has done everything. You are right or wrong? <laughs> eh? Are you right that he has told everything? <laughs> How you told? Navin can tell something? Our Prabhu? Acha, yes, sir. What he has left about sadhan and. <coughs> don't go to high. Only sadhaka you want. So, Sri Gurudev ordered me. Who is sadhak? What is the qualification of sadhak? Then we can address him, we can <coughs> call him as a sadhak. Sadhak means who are doing sadhan, they call sadhak. At first, we have to fix our goal. So Rukhuya Sanipad explained in his Bhukti Rasamit Sindhu. Priti sadha bhavet sadha bhavasa sadhana vidha nitya siddhasa bhavasa prakatka kriti sadhata. Kriti sadhya, here, in this book, ultimate goal is bhav. So he who bring his all endeavor to achieve that bhav, by which means they are adopting to achieve that bhav, it is called sadhan. Who are doing sadhan, they call sadhak. Villa Mangala Deva Sadhaka Parikirtita. Who is qualified to take darshan of Bhagavan, they call sadhak. This is the main symptom that who is qualified to take darshan of Bhagavan, they call sadhak. So, example, Villa Mangala Deva Sadhaka Parikirtita. Villa Mangala, etc., they are sadhak. When Villa Mangal living his home, and kicked by Chintamani, prostitute he is going and he wants to go Vrindavan Dham. Then he is 
composing so many slokas with nectar for Krishna's ear, so it is called Krishna Karnamita. So, Bila Mangal is eligible to do darshan of Bhagavan, so it is called Sadha. So, who is qualified to take darshan of Bhagavan, of God, a supreme person, the Godhead, they call Sadha. Very good. Can you tell something? Anything they have left? Srinavim Krishna, Srinavim Krishna Prabhu was speaking about how Sri Bilba Mangal Thakur became a sadhaka. And he was explaining by this verse that a sadhaka is one who is qualified to have darshan of Bhagavan. But this means that he is qualified to have darshan and also he may not yet have had darshan. He may or he may not have had darshan, but he is qualified by dint of his intense burning desire. You see by the example of Bilbo Mangal Thakur, what was his intense burning desire? Most of us know this story. How he was attracted to the prostitute, and in order to go to her, he had such extreme eagerness. And then when he was told by her <clears throat> that why, if you had such eagerness, the same degree of eagerness, of intense desire, of actual greed, to, uh, to attain Krishna and Krishna Bhakti, as you have to come to me, then uh, you would have attained so much in your life. This is so wasted on just this flesh. So this startled him and he left and went toward Vrindavan. And we know the story of how he came toward Vrindavan. And uh, again, there was one incident where he saw a very beautiful wife of a brahmana along the way and he became uh, somewhat attracted and then he wanted to enjoy with her. But instead what did he do? He asked her, uh, my dear brahmani, you please give me your hairpins. And then as he took the hairpins from her, he plunged them into his own eyes, poking out his eyes, blinding himself forever. And then he stated that if these eyes will only distract me from the path of, of my uh, intense desire to go to Vrindavan, to go to Krishna, to attain Krishna Prem, then I do not want these eyes. This is the intensity of the sadhaka. So actually to become a real sadhaka, a real practitioner, is a very high stage. We are aspiring to become sadhakas. We are praying and hoping that one day we will become sadhakas. And we are praying that one day this necessary greed and intense desire, which is known as lobha, will enter into our hearts. But this will only be possible if we have the sangha, if we have the association of rasika, tattvagya, and bhavak bhaktas. Those who have this bhav within their hearts and those who are relishing these uh, transcendental emotions and rasas, if we have their association, then it will be possible to attain even a small degree of this lobha, this greed. Then we, we can become sadhakas. Very good. I just uh, remembered something that Sri Gurudev had said in, in Bali, so I'll just repeat that. Um, in the discussion of sadhana and sadhak, Gurudev asked, what is sadhana, or that which is that which is practiced by a sadhak? And we tried to come up with an answer, but he said, first, you should understand the word itself, sadhana, sadhana. What is sadhana mean? Sadhana can be broken up into two, into two portions, sa and hum. Han means a treasure, uh, like riches, and sa means one's own. So sa means one's own treasure or one's own riches. 
that which resides within each and every living entity's heart, as uh, Bhujapada Prampiyaraja Prabhu had said, which is eternally established in the heart of every jiva, is their eternal relationship with Krishna. And Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, in his Bhaktivinoda Vivek, at two points in his first chapter, is exclaiming, O oh, Vaishnavas, he says, you are really not meant for simple, simple or uh, vaiti bhakti as it appears, as it appears to many of us. You are actually meant to practice vaiti bhakti that is that has uh, rag within it, or that is in the same way that that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give the name, but he came to give praying too. So praying combined with the name actually leads us to to the goal, to our own treasure. So that is what I could remember from what Sri Guru had said about. Thank you. Prem Prejan, he was going in the right way, but he left something, and also Namin Prabhu was in line, but he also missed some points, something to be added in both. Sadhak, no? can you tell, uh, Billu Mangal was from, from beginning he was Sadhak or not? Beginning of life? Or? From beginning. He was sadhak or he went and the lost he became sadhak. When he was sadhak? In the end, later he became sadhak. And when he did oh, no, this? he was sadhak then. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you should know all these things. If you will come in Madhya Madhikara, I am telling all this for Madhya Madhikar. Hmm? Those who have some intelligence to know all these things. Hmm? I know that very rare hmm, Person. persons are devotees. But yet I am telling you should try to go in Madhya Madhikar. So I am coming to the point that <coughs> who is sadhak? So first you should know what what is sad sad sadhya like. He told that anna bilasita and he explained that what is bhakti that is uttam. Oh, you should control anyone to the voice. Anyone should go and control. And if they are not, uh, then you should take their ears and bring them here. <laughs> if they are not uh, obeying. obeying, take their ears and bring here. We will tell them. <coughs> so he explained, Anna Bhilashita Sunya. Gyan karma adi anabritam ankulyene krishnam shiranam bhakti ruttam. And he explained what is this. In the foreign, by all his senses, turn, all senses, turn mind by mood, favorable services to Krishna. This is main thing. But it will not be uttam if the two more symptoms, symptoms what outwardly see, symptoms will be added. There should be no any worldly desire. Anna bhilashita sunya. If you are doing all Practices to serve Krishna, to, have, to please Krishna. 
but there are so many desires, then it will not be pure bhakti. If there is no desire, even, and you are practicing, but if it is covered with Gyan karm, that is, fruitive karms, and by knowledge, two kinds of knowledge. What? That means, ekatva gyan. This, this is very bad for them. Impersonal. Even that Krishna is supreme personality of God. Then Uttama Bhakti will be, will not be, will not be achieved. Well, the Bhakti, mixed Bhakti. Here we should know that if anyone is practicing this Anya Vilasita Shunya, when anyone is chanting, remembering by his senses, by his tongue, and hears Harikatha from his ears. ears. Hmm? And uh, practicing archan and all other things, doing bandana by his mouth and everything. Hmm? It is not pure bhakti. Hmm? Not pure bhakti. When this name will come automatically and dance ne? on the sadhak tan hmm? by Shuddha Shattva. And when he wants to uh, hear by laps and laps ears, ears automatically coming. Hmm? And when automatically he is bound to do sir, to archan and all other things, then really this is uttama bhakti or bhakti. It may be of two kinds, one in bhav and other in prem. So if anyone, anyone is uh, chanting name by his tongue, And hearing Harikatha by here, there, yes. air, hears, and worshipping by hands and other things, by his senses. Really, it is not bhakti. As an example, we are going to do any fire sacrifice. No. And if I am telling that all, oh, be ready for sacrifice. So bring some ghee, bring some oats, dry oats, bring so many things, and bring the book. Make a what? Vedi. Vedi means? Yagipit. What is called that? Fire. Fire. Pit. P-I-T. Pit. Fire Bring some umbrella leaves. <coughs> Decorate with leaves. And anyone is bringing. Is it the real sacrifice? No. But without this thing, sacrifice cannot be done. So if anyone is bringing, it is not really sacrifice, but when he is doing, taking all these things, making bedi, and after that taking he and everything, and with mantra he is telling that, Om Krishnaya Swaha, Om Naradaya Swaha, his, and by heart and mind and by tan, he is giving that for Krishna, for devotee. Then it is sacrifice. But if anyone is not doing only bringing flowers, uh, ghee, woods, fire, even it may be told that 
it is for sacrifice so it is for sacrifice it is, this is sacrifice but really not so if anyone engaging his tongue his ears by ears he is hearing hari katha no? and he is chanting by his tongue we are using our senses for krishna bhakti but it is far away bhakti this is not bhakti pure bhakti when transcendental that bhakti will come and itself name will dance on his like chaitanya mahaprabhu he was going to bathroom and he tried to catch ah very tightly he took his tongue and gopal guru told what you are doing why you are taking your pen in your hands very tightly he told that he never obey me i am going to passing <laughs> bathroom and always he chants i don't want that is so chant because at that time i will be impure but see always ch- uh, name comes and chants cannot stop so this is really name on the turn of that devotee if it is coming and hari katha coming or don't stop like parikshit maharaj gone doing i don't want to take mill water no sleep nothing it is so relishable relishable then it is bhakti really so now we are engaging all these things by force by intelligence so it is not pure bhakti na no? but it will be called when we are engaging our senses so that name should come and dance on our heart on tongue and ears hari katha will come and really bhakti will come by bhav it will come bhav means mood rati so when when we engage our all these senses ears tan our all engaging all these things though it is not bhakti pure bhakti but uh, it is for that thing when it will do to have bhav कृति साध्या भवेत साध्य भावा कृति मीन्स अवर सेंसेस टन इयर एंड ऑल अदर से कृति साध्या भवेत साध्य भावा वेन इंडिकेटिंग फॉर भाव दैट वी वॉन्ट भाव हाउ ई शुड कम always in getting all senses and everything in these things by our practice by our intelligence but also praying also like praying to gurudev to krishna this mood should be there that place prachodayat you should come and manifest you then sadha bhava for bhav it will come from uh, fr- from this practice bhav will come and ascend or manifest here so if all these practices are for bhav like this is having this mood then for very far away it can be told sadhan and those who are doing they will be called sadhak but really when when anyone will come in this stage oh very nearer to bhav 
and he is doing for prem his goal is what first the goal was what then it will be sadhak sadhan and when the goal will be prem then he will not be called he will be called sadhak but his bhakti is bhav bhakti he is the sadhak of prem bhakti prem bhakti that is he has achieved bhav or he is going to be achieve bhav so sadhak are of two kinds first bhav bhakti sadhak only for name they are doing all these things to achieve bhav and second when he wants to receive prem and they are called sadhak so bilva mangal is sadhak of raganuga bhakti and he has come in his last days up to bhav like bharat maharaj they are sadhak of what thing prem prem sadhak but we are sadhak for what bhav but if anyone uh, had this goal then he will be sadhak otherwise not so if you all had the goal that we want to achieve bhav then you are sadhak otherwise no again come to this point uttama bhakti you have heard anya vilasita if anyone if anyone he doing sadhan for that but his these activities these indivours are covered with gyan and fruitive uh, karma and knowledge and also he has so much worldly desire, worldly desire. then what he will be called what he will be? and engaging his all these things oh that is sadhan that is sadhan but no not pure sadhan so when they will be gradually going up then first it will be called shraddha when all the desires are also something and also it is covered with gyan and karma but he is practicing and some part going 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 and if more will going then it will be nishtha more going then ruchi and uh, about everything is going on very little is there hmm? prayaki and very little sarka desires have hold down sometimes it may come and it is not covered but sometimes covers then it will be ashakti and then then bhav will come then really we will be sadhak of prem otherwise we are sadhak in two category when we are engaging it but not really this name is coming and dancing here katha is not so we can all be called sadhak if you have a object that or bhakti should be come to bhav then we will be sadhak otherwise so you should practice like this i wanted to tell so many things so after this but time is over and also i am not so well today so i want that you should all together keep this light what burning yes it should not be stop or it should not be disturbing this extinguish extinguish light should be so that i may come again i can send by representatives and you should not worry for any petty things for self again you should try to uh, help those who are trying 
brought my also we are going to open a center here and it center is open madhav prabhu is very qualified boy energetic boy i want that all should help him premananda premananda prabhu and you should help you should all i want that prajwala prabhu is senior most and he is so qualified you should be in his guidance you all brahmacharis in his guidance and i want that all should help that body you should take a body like that so that how we can improve these things so that we can help all the devotees here i think more than 100 devotees are here and more are coming so i am very happy to see that very soon we have so many eh, devotees so i want that they should be helped so in this way you should make some committee committee and plan also i know that what name is prabhu jagdish no 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 yeah parmananda parmananda prabhu he is really parmananda <laughs> or guru maharaj used to glorify parmananda parmananda madhavam what is look like that ho bhagyam ho bhagyam nand bo prijau kshan janmitram parmanandam parmanandam purna brahma or parmanand is who is parmanand purna brahma sanatanam himself that son of nand so i want that you should all i cannot take all these names who are here so many qualified you should are brahmachari should also be very humble and should go to them and honor properly i also you what name chaitanya chandra and so many so i want that also combined efforts should come as at the time of swami ji bhakti vedant swami maharaj all were energetic you should be energetic a book has been published very good book i want that all should have this and read so many doubts will go away forever and you will not be cheated if anyone cannot buy what they have kept kept the price i know i don't know Eh? $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $5. $
then you should take advice from Braj Balla Prabhu and others. And I plead that you should all try to help him in this, so that this center may be an ideal center. Yes. Tomorrow I am going. So if any harsh word has been used by me, then you can forgive me for that. Sapamisha <laughs> wants to play a song. Sapamisha can play. At once. So all you should be humble. Na? Humble is bhakti. Humble humility. 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 Humility is bhakti. Oh na. Oh, I want to <coughs> give dhanyabad. Thanks. 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 Those who have done so much labor for this. Especially Nanda, to Gaurangi and Sadhguru Prabhu, Sadhguru Prabhu and Nanda Kishore Prabhu, Nanda Kishore Prabhu, and Urukram Prabhu, Urukram Prabhu, all they have done. So so much thanks. <laughs> Achinta Govinda Prabhu. Achinta Govinda Prabhu. Where where is Achinta? On video. Arranging the printing. Oh. Where is Achinta Govinda Prabhu? Back side. He is always helping and very favorable. Also, also those who have cooked here, who cooked the, cooked for our devotees. Yes, Paramananda Puri. Paramananda Puri and his helpers all. Devananda, Devananda and his wife. Devananda Prabhu, Surati, Surati Devi. So much thanks for them. And those and so much thanks and my heartly blessing. Oh, very sweet melody they did Kirtan here to all my heart wishes. This morning, three devotees have taken initiation. Please stand up if you are here. First is uh, Bhaktin Yodi. You are here? Yodi? Yeah. Oh. Name? Is Jai Nandini. Jai Nandini. Jai Nandini. Then Brioni Bush. Oh, his name? Vijaya. 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 What? Ah, Vijaya. Who can control Krishna also? He can conquer also the heart of Krishna. So she is Vijaya. Vijaya Devi ki. Brindavan, you are here, Brindavan, in the back, he is standing there, hmm. Shama Sundar. Shama Sundar Das, Ki Jai. Ramai Prabhu also has come, he is... Uh, Why is Ramai Prabhu? Over there. His name has been changed. Ramai's name has been changed. Oh. oh, where is Ramai? Oh, I am so much. Where? He should come to me. I, went to meet you. I was so much eagerly waiting. Oh, Ramai Prabhu, you should come. I want to meet you. So much eagerly waiting for you. You have served me last two trips, so I am indebted to you for that. Come, Ramai Prabhu. Ramai Prabhu. I was so eager. Come on, here. <laughs> I was eagerly waiting for you so for so many days. You oh, here. Gaur Praman. I cannot uh, forget you, so you should not forget. Can anyone forget you, man? <laughs> Very good. Go on. Daily I was remembering. Thinking, where is Ramai? Daily, daily I was remembering.
He's been cooking so much. Eh? He's been cooking so much. Tapan Mishra Prabhu. Have so much thank for cooking. Yes. To Ramai Prabhu. Tapan Mishra. Tapan Mishra.
helps you to remember Swami Ji, your Prabhupada, Shilabhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. Then my preaching is successful. And if I have not remembered Swami Ji, then my preaching is like zero. Only I have come to this place. That you should all remember this very high class of Vaishnava devotee sent by Krishna himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the disciple of very authentic devotees of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami. So you should always remember him. If you are nem- not remember him and doing bhakti, I think that is not good. That is not, that is bogus. He is the basic backbone of this bhakti in the West and Eastern countries. So also you should always remember him. First remember him and then me. Then I will think that my preaching is success. Gaur Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada